If you could only ever have just one M4, then you might want to take a serious look at this one right here. This is the Helios Umbrella Corp M4 AEG. Heck, even if you already have a dozen M4s, this one you might need to add to the fleet. But let's get the misconception out of the way. They are not the Umbrella Corporation from a very popular video game series. They just happen to have the same name. And logo. And theme. But are they evil? <laughs> what they are is a weapons manufacturer. Their website describes them as, and I'm paraphrasing here, a research, development, and engineering firm with a primary focus on small arms design that exceed expectations and provide no compromise quality. This officially licensed airsoft version of the Umbrella Rifle features a billet-style upper receiver on a forged-style lower receiver. The Magwell has Umbrella Corp's iconic logo on the left side, as you can see here, which is laser etched, and some more trades like the Umbrella Corporation logo on the right side. The fire selector markings are also laser etched with another Umbrella logo for the full auto setting. So. You know it's about to rain BBs. It's a really bad umbrella joke. I'm sorry. Thank you for staying with me. There are three lengths of this gun available. This one is the middle child, the carbine length version. There's one that's a little bit longer and one that's a little bit shorter. Now they all have the same set of features. All metal with a really aggressive three-prong flash hider, which I think looks awesome, as well as a slim and functional M-lock rail with pick all the way across the top. Standard non-ambidextrous controls with a working bolt catch, flared magwell, and the airsoft version of their Grip 23 pistol grip, a crane-style stock, and some QD sling mount points. So what, I hear you asking? It's got the same features as 90% of the other M4s out there. What makes this so special? Well, my response would be two things. One, the price. It comes in at under $300, which is better than most of the other full metal bodied M4s out there that have all of the aforementioned features. And two, the internals. It's often what's inside that counts, not just a polished, really sleek set of externals. Especially because this one has what I think is currently one of the best ways to do a quick change spring, the QBS, or the quick buffer system. One feature I particularly like about the multi-position retractable stock, in addition to how easy it is to adjust and the included QD points, is how quickly you can change your battery. Right on the stock pad, there is a lever that allows you to open the battery compartment, and in here you've got plenty of room. And by plenty, I mean you can fit a full-size Titan Power 11 one 2600 milliamp battery on either side of the buffer tube, and then uh, fish your wiring out of there with a grubby finger. Now, if I had thought this through, I would have brought a Tamiya connector battery that's because I was expecting to see T-plugs on here. Come on, Helios. This next batch better have T-plugs. In the meantime, though, they're easy enough to swap if you're already on the T-plug train like the rest of us. And if not, make sure you're choosing a Tamiya small type connector for your batteries. I'm going to go ahead and swap this. The way that the QBS system works is that you just loosen the castle nut, which gives the uh, ability for the buffer tube to rotate, which you can rotate by an eighth of a turn clockwise, then just remove that and unscrew the cap that's attached to the guide rod. Unlike any other quick change spring systems, you don't need to take the gearbox out. You don't need to leave the buffer tube on and use a long screwdriver. You don't even need to worry about ruining your wiring. It really is the best system I've seen for a quick change system on an M4. But before we get to shoot this bad boy, let's show you the rest of the insides in a gun that really could justifiably cost more than it does. Your Helios Umbrella Corporation M4 arrives in a handsome box that has the Umbrella Corp logo front and center. Inside, the M4 is surrounded by laser cut, high quality foam. 
included as a hex key for the QBS system and a 200 round mid capacity magazine, which let's be honest, looks awesome. Also included is a certificate of authenticity, which has a QR code on the flip side that takes you to the online video instruction manual. First, let's talk about the QBS, or the Quick Buffer System, which allows you to swap the spring by removing the buffer tube and unthreading the guide rod, all without removing the gearbox. The Umbrella M4, being an M4, is all version 2 compatible. It comes with a metal hop-up chamber and a nicely crowned brass inner barrel. The motor has neodymium magnets and a D-shaped axle and pinion gear. Now that's important in case you ever need to replace them. The gearbox has been reinforced and radiused, meaning that you can put a pretty hefty spring in here. You can see the reinforcement at the top and bottom of the cylinder head. It looks to us like the radiuses were not cut after the fact, but actually a part of the mold for the gearbox shell. Thus, there may be some flashing around the edges of these radius shapes. One thing to note is that the tappet plate has these cuts made to it, because the gearbox has been reinforced on the inside as well. The gears ride on 8mm bearings, but that's just the beginning of this sweet drivetrain. The gears themselves are 13 to 1, and the sector gear has been short stroked by 4 teeth from the factory. This means really, really quick shots and a healthy rate of fire, or RPS, which we'll demonstrate in just a moment. The piston has all metal teeth, as you'd expect, and a silent style aluminum piston head that minimizes dead space inside the full cylinder. The inclusion of the full cylinder allows you to use a wider variety of springs. The cylinder head is aluminum with two O-rings and the air nozzle does not have an O-ring. The trigger operates a micro switch and the trigger board uses a light sensor to detect when the gun has fired. The entire system is very precise and well engineered. But let's go see how it all performs out at the range. All right, we're down here in our outdoor testing facility. We brought our Umbrella Corp M4 AEG down with us. First things first, just shouldering it and getting a sight picture, it's a really comfortable rifle. The rubberized stock pad and the ease of which you can adjust the retractable stock make it really easy to find a position that's comfortable for you. Pair that with a really nice and um, small diameter M-Lock front handguard, give you great positioning and plenty of room to mount accessories. I love that you've got a full length top rail for any accessories you wanna add, like if you wanted to put a PEQ box on here or something, uh, you wouldn't be getting in the way of not only your optic, but of your hand placement and things like that. Let's go ahead and put a mag in, see how it shoots. Anytime you have a really long rail and barrel system on an AEG like this M4, it gets real easy to, uh, to kind of guide your shots to where you need them. Even if I wasn't using an optic, it's very point and shoot. I can snap back and forth between targets really easily. And that's something that you might find you're a little wayward with, uh, with shorter rail and barrel uh, combinations. With that said, I think the grip is really nice and comfortable. There isn't any texturization on it. I kind of wish that it had at least some stippling to give you a little bit better grip. And truth be told, ever since we got slim motor grips, feeling a standard motor grip on an M4 just isn't the same. I wish it was a little bit thinner. But with that said, it's very comfortable to use and because it uses standard M4 controls, your select fire switch is easy to access and easy to spin. It probably could be a little bit stiffer, um, but this makes transitioning to semi and full auto very, very quick. Um, other than that, standard mag release and the included magazines lock into place really nicely. Because of the awesome gearbox and micro switch on the trigger, you get a really nice, rewarding, snappy system of fire. Yeah, the trigger throw is kind of far, but you can just about ride the back, the back of the stroke of the trigger and have really quick follow-up shots. I 
I like it. We've moved out to the 50 foot line to start our range test. Now, one thing to note, the hop-up unit on the Umbrella M4 AEG uh, is a standard uh, M4 non-rotary style. Now, these things are sensitive. It's a great hop-up right out of the box, but that means that fine-tuning your adjustments can be as easy as nudging the rotating wheel just a little bit to fine-tune that, that range adjustment. In here, I've got 0.25 gram BBs. These magazines hold 200 rounds, so that's really nice right out of the box. And just in case you're curious, I've got a Titan Power 11.1 volt, 2600 milliamp LiPo or lithium ion battery. Let's see how it does at 50 feet. Let's go take a look. With the exception of the one outlier I had, all of my shots at 50 feet are within the A zone. As you can see, pretty repeatable shots. Haven't cleaned the barrel. All we've done is set the hop up and sort of zeroed the optics so that at least I'm shooting kind of on target. But that's a nice grouping at 50 feet. Let's see how it does out at 100 feet. We've doubled our distance out to 100 feet. I've still got two fives in the magazine, which on a windless day is just fine. At longer distances outdoors, you might want to move up to a 2.8 or a 3.0, depending on uh, the kind of wind that you're dealing with. Same battery in there. Now with a barrel that's this long, 100 feet should be no problem for this bad boy. Let's go see how we did. As you can see, as we moved farther away, my shots got a lot wider comparatively to our 50 foot grouping. So I had one up here, I had one out here, one out in the D zone. I did get a couple still in the center of the A zone, a couple out here in the C zone. What's important is that all of my shots were still on a body size target. So out at 150 feet with a slight breeze and two fives, you've still got decent accuracy to hit an enemy player at that kind of distance, which really right out of the box at 100 feet, is pretty good. We've set up for our FPS test by loading two O-gram BBs in the magazine, and that's because that's the standard weight for chronoing at fields. We've also still got our Titan Power 11 1 2600 in here. Got the chrono set up for 0.2 gram BBs. Let's see how it does. Now, interestingly, we're right above the 350 mark at 358. Given the QBS system, it's really easy to change FPSs depending on what your environment is, where you're playing. So that makes that really, really nice. Let's see what it does RPS right out of the box. RPS right out of the box is just under 25 a second, which for an affordable platform, full metal M4 AEG with an adjustable spring or a quick change spring, that's really nice. So if you're looking for something that does all this at an affordable cost, the Helios Umbrella Corporation is the way to go. So whether you're a fan of just M4s in general and you like the feature sets here, or you love the idea of the Umbrella Corporation and kind of the name and theme that they share their namesake with, or you're looking for something that has a ton of performance, durability, and features for an inexpensive, relatively inexpensive price, the Umbrella M4 AEG is an excellent platform right out of the box that's going to perform and perform well. And 
give you one of the easiest ways to change between indoor and outdoor play if you play at a variety of fields. To find out more information about this awesome AEG in all three lengths, make sure you check it out right here on our website, didhavik.com. As always, make sure you're following our other social media accounts like our Facebook and Instagram for the latest product photos and video, as well as subscribing right here to our YouTube channel and clicking that bell notification icon to be notified when our latest product videos and other exciting content is released on this social media platform. As always, make sure you're playing safe, playing responsibly, and just playing. We'll see you guys on the field. Can you check for my vibe?